Good morning, Spartans, and thank you for joining us here on MBU Timeline. I'm Ross Monroe. We are quickly approaching the halfway point of this semester, and I hope things are going well for you and you're staying safe. Don't forget to use your Spartan Safe app every day, as it is a requirement to enter campus. Be sure to answer all the questions, get your green badge for the day. But if you have any other questions about MBU's COVID-19 protocol, please visit the link on the screen. To kick things off today, we sent a camera crew around campus to talk with Spartans about the Spartan Digital Network. Here's what they had to say. Have you ever used the Spartan Digital Network before? Yes, I have. Okay, and when you used it, what did you think about it? Like, did you like it, dislike it? Uh, I really did like it. I mean, it was a little laggy at first, but it was good for the most part. Do you think that, you know, since there's no fans at these sports this semester, do you plan on using the Spartan Digital Network more? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Especially for basketball games, stuff I don't get, you know, really a chance to see or whatever. So I think it'll be a really good tool. Do you have leadership skills and live on campus? Well, MBU is looking for our residential assistance. This is a great opportunity to add to the experience of campus living and applications will be accepted until Friday the 19th. Please apply at the link on the screen. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Make sure you don't miss out on this month's first Thursday in the Perk. Stop by the Perk and create a DIY Valentine for yourself or someone else. This will happen on Thursday, February 4th from 6 to 8 p.m. Are you looking for a new church to go to? Then the College Park Church is a church you should consider attending. College Park Church is a local church to the MBU community that teaches and models faithful gathering, biblical literacy, and discipleship. Dr. Jordan Cox, the fine arts chair and professor here at MBU, is the planter and lead pastor of the church. He started this church with a vision of creating a network of churches on university campuses for students to engage in local fellowship and to grow in their faith in Jesus Christ. If you need access to more positive streaming service, maybe you should consider subscribing to Right Now Media. Right Now Media is a streaming library of Bible study videos that inspires faith, devotion, and inspiration every day of the week. Sign up today using your MBU email to get access to the whole library of Christian resources. Just visit the link on the screen. Whether you're a football fan or not, get excited because the Super Bowl is quickly approaching. This Super Bowl Sunday, February 7th, make sure to swing by the North Hall from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. and join in a Super Bowl watch party hosted by The Riz Life. We can't wait to see you all there. With the return of a new semester comes the return of sports. We had the privilege to sit down with Coach Ingram, the head coach of the men's basketball team, to see how they have been adjusting to the new normal and the importance of continuing athletics during a pandemic. It's team building. It's something I think we all need. It provides togetherness. It provides a sense of camaraderie and brotherhood or sisterhood, uh, you know, whether it's women's sports or men's sports. Uh, it provides a sense of outlet for all people, you know. I think that the one thing that we all can sit there and say, uh, when you're rooting on your team, regardless of whatever's going on in the world, we have a tendency to come together during that time. Uh, my team versus your team, and then afterwards we can high five and, and, and say, oh man, you got me the best of that time. And, 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 and sport provides that, you know. Um, it provides young kids an opportunity to still be able to have those um, uh, intellectual conversations about situations that's going on, uh, whether it's social media, whether it's worldview points, or whether it's, you know, just, just young adult conversations. Uh, sport provides an opportunity for an outlet for that. And I think right now it's so pivotal that we have an outlet that we can see some sort of a success. And now, here's sports. <laughs> Welcome to the Spartan Sports Shakedown. Men's volleyball had a great home opener against Culver Stockton last week, and they seem to be off to a strong start. Their next game is today, but they're on the road and won't be back home until the 5th of February. Women's volleyball had a mid-season break, but they are back and ready to build on that current 10-1 record at the Mid-South Conference Invitational. Their next game is tomorrow against Campbellsville University. Good luck, ladies. 
Women's basketball is on a three-game winning streak with a triple overtime W against CBC and an overall record of 7-4. They will next play on Monday the 1st against Hannibal LaGrange. Not all sports are back in the full swing of things yet, but that doesn't mean they aren't working hard on the field and on the court. Our athletes are practicing back to back to back, getting ready for their season startup with teams like lacrosse, football, and soccer, all practicing early in the morning and ending as late as 9 p.m. We really appreciate all the hard work you're doing and can't wait to see you all back in action. Well, the Super Bowl is set. This past weekend saw the Kansas City Chiefs win the AFC over Buffalo. And once again, Tom Brady is back in the Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the NFC. This Super Bowl is actually the first time in history that a home team will host the game. Now it's time for my favorite segment, the Spartan Athlete of the Week. This week, we salute Grace Burrows of the women's basketball team and Austin Bont from the men's volleyball team. Grace Burrows knocked down four three-pointers in Saturday's game against Moberly Community College, finishing with 18 points, and she also went four for four at the free throw line. In his first match wearing the Spartan colors, Austin Bont led the volleyball team with 18 kills in what would be a straight set win over Culver Stockton. Congratulations to both Grace Burroughs and Austin Bont. You are the Spartan Athlete of the Week. And that's about all the time I have for you today here in sports, but be sure to check mbuspartans.com for more sports stories and live streams of the games. Thanks for tuning in. We want to remind you to mask up and use the Spartan Safe app to keep you and everyone around you safe. That's all for this week's timeline update in the news. For more stories like these from around the MBU community, visit the MBU timeline at the link on our screen. Thanks for watching. I'm Ross Monroe. See you next week.